Okay, this is Brian Watkins. This is a short video <coughs> for my uh, Counting 231 students about the Excel test number 7, the Direct Labor Variance Report. Because these uh, formulas can be tricky, uh, one thing that you can do is to check your work before you turn it in. So <coughs> we have random numbers here, obviously. They're recalculating. You've seen that. But try this. If I set my actual labor rate equal to 8.5, the same as my standard housekeeping rate, then I have no variance in my rate. So if I come down here and see, aha, there's no variance in my direct labor rate, I know I did that right. Okay. Second, you can then say, if it takes me 0.9 hours to clean the room, and you set this to 0.9, look at that, I have no variance whatsoever. And so um, that is a good way of double checking if you mixed up your numbers because sometimes the variables I'm going to pull back my randoms here sometimes the variables are such that it looks like you have it right because the total variance checks out it's the same but you can easily swap variables in these formulas here and actually uh, end up calculating a number that's incorrect so I just wanted to show you that little trick um, take your take when you're all done go back and just briefly take your actual rate change it to match your standard rate and see if your rate variance goes to zero and then after you're done copy back your randoms back there so I can see that you know how to do a rand between and everything's good and finally uh, I make the mistake every time I do a video for this project I forget to get those um, numbers correct this is one of the rare exceptions to hard coding um, you just put in the number for the month and uh, that's that alright good luck Get all the points.